Hey, it's Mike here, and today a showdown of higher versus lower carbohydrate diets in terms of coronary artery calcium score, which is a measure of the progression of heart disease. And the study didn't stop at carbs. It also looked at animal versus plant fat to get an idea of how much people were eating from those different sources to get more interesting answers. And so we'll see who wins the showdown in terms of coronary artery calcium score. Let's go. First, I wanna start by really quickly touching on more details about coronary artery calcium score, which in the medical field is known as CAC. Just keeping you on your toes, here is a doctor from the Denver talking about it. So a coronary artery calcium scoring is a screening test to detect the presence of coronary artery vascular disease. What a calcium score is, is a low dose CAT scan of the heart arteries in your chest that is designed to detect the presence of calcium within the coronary arteries, which are the arteries that supply blood to your heart. As you develop what is called hardening of the arteries, that fatty plaque turns to calcium. And up until this study, we haven't really had a comparison of lower carb eating for coronary artery calcium score, but I have heard some low carbers say, high meat lovers being like, oh, actually, my score is zero, therefore all of this animal fat is doing absolutely nothing. My arteries are very clear. You should eat the way I eat, blah de blah But even looking to a chart like this for men 45 to 49, about half of them have a score of zero. So this is something that can take a while to progress in most people. But obviously you don't want this to be high and it doesn't mean that you don't have those dangerous soft plaques and stuff like that and inflammation at any level if you are at a zero. And it is worth also looking really quickly for women at 60 to 64, it reaches that same point where about half have a score of zero. So women are doing way better there. We can speculate at the end why that is, but let's keep going. I also wanna say something quickly about low carb diets. I am not anti low carb diet. It's just a matter of what it's made up of. I mean, if you're eating a bunch of whole plant foods, you're obviously gonna be doing way better than somebody who is even not on a low carb diet, not eating that way. And we're gonna see that reflected in the data a little bit as we've seen in the past. I mean, spoiler alert, we've seen that higher meat low carb diets Meta-analysis after meta-analysis are associated with increased mortality, like this one, about a 30% increase. This one, also about a 30% increase. So that's a little bit of a background, but let's just get right to the study. The study came out late last year, and there was a lot going on then, so most people, I feel like, missed it. And yes, it's an observational study, meaning that they weren't putting people on a diet and then doing an experimental trial, like a randomized control trial. So yeah, it's not the best data in the world, but these studies are still really important in gaining a mounting amount of data on a certain topic. They should not be ignored. And yes, well, this study was done by a bunch of Chinese authors and it was funded partially by sort of like the Chinese National Institute of Health. It was also funded by our National Institute of Health in the US and it was on US populations across the United States. So they got a baseline measurement of the coronary artery artery calcium score. And then on average, about eight and a half years later, they got a second follow-up score. And they did that for about 2,200 people. So there's definitely a lot of data there. They of course measured how many carbs people were eating. And let's just get to the result. Here it is. After adjusting for traditional cardiovascular risk factors and other dietary factors, carbohydrate intake as a percentage of total energy was inversely associated with the risk of coronary artery calcium progression at about 27% lower risk of having worse progression if you were eating more carbs. So carbs equals better in this scenario. And here's a chart from the study showing stepwise, bam, the more carbs, the lower progression they saw on the coronary artery calcium score. Interesting stuff. And I will say the result was more dramatic until they adjusted for a bunch of those factors. Some of them, I think they absolutely did need to adjust for. Some of them, not quite as much. They adjusted for a ton. And we're talking ones that I don't think they should have adjusted for as much, including LDL cholesterol, which is causally linked to saturated fat consumption. And the main source of that in a Western diet like this is animal fat. So it's sort of adjusting for something that's causally linked to the difference between the groups, which I think is problematic. They also adjusted for fiber intake, which I think could have also been problematic in terms of the animal-based low-carb diet because animal products do not have fiber fibers from plants. And so it's, you know, a little bit of an overlap there, which might be lessening the difference. So it's probably not 50% lower, like in the model where they only adjusted for sex and race. It's, you know, probably higher than the 27% lower 
coronary artery calcium progression in the final model. That's my guess at least. But now let's get to that difference for animal versus plant foods quote. The animal-based but not plant-based low-carb diet score was significantly associated with a higher risk of coronary artery calcium progression about 45% more. So the more plant-based low-carb diet was not associated with any increase in coronary artery calcium score. And it's even worth mentioning on top of that, that this study found that people eating a plant-based lower carb diet had a lower mortality. And I think it's pretty interesting that this result holds strong when you're looking in this context of a standard American diet where higher carb also means higher refined sugar. And despite that, it still did significantly better than the lower carb, higher animal fat. And yes, it is the case that refined sugar can lead to oxidization and inflammation in the artery and progress things in that direction. So yeah, that animal fat's not doing any favors. I also think it's really interesting to look at the demographics or the attributes of these different groups in terms of carbs. We have the low, middle, and higher carb group. And we can see, yes, they adjusted for some of these, but we have a statistically significant difference in terms of education level. The people who ate lower carb were less educated. They also were heavier. And finally, get this, they already had the highest baseline coronary artery calcium progression. So they were starting from a worse point eating their low carb diet. Now there is one limitation of the study in terms of convincing people who are on their super low carb diets that this applies to them, which by all means should in terms of what animal fat does to the arteries we see over and over and over and over again. But the issue here is that the low carb group was still eating about 39.5% of total calories from carbs. The high carb group was 57.5, which super high carb or people eating all those plants would probably be like, that's not a hard, high, that's not high carb enough either. That being said, we're seeing a very clear trend. It was stepwise that the people eating that lower carb diet with meat with animal fat, we're seeing more coronary artery calcium progression. They got more caca in their arteries. And that really is important because we're talking about the hardening of the arteries here, which means they aren't able to dilate, they aren't able to do a lot of things you want them to do. The inner wall becomes more and more messed up and you just, you just, just things that you don't want. The final thing I wanna to touch on is that initial gender difference that I mentioned where women just do way better in this area. And now, yes, you could say, Estrogen helps with the arteries and therefore that's responsible for all of it. I do not think that's the case. As I've talked about in a really old video, the gender difference we see in terms of heart disease in general, I think has largely to do with the cultural increased desire for men to eat more animal fat in terms of meat. Gotta get that manliness in there until you just get clogged with all the manliness and then you can't even be manly anymore. You can watch my erectile dysfunction video for that one. But let's just hit the conclusion of the study really quickly. One of the highlights, quote, replacement of carbohydrates with predominantly animal but not plant protein or fat in low carbohydrate diets has the potential of enhancing coronary artery calcium progression. In the end, this is just another piece of evidence against eating animal fat for heartery health, heartery health. <laughs> and I know this is going to be completely ignored by everybody that eats a low carb animal based diet, but it's just another study out there that should be added to the repertoire. All right, let me know down below what you think about this. Have you had your coronary artery calcium score done? What did you think? Anyway, feel free to like and subscribe and all that good stuff that helps my channel out. I also have a Patreon which I forget to mention all the time, but thanks so much to those supporters. Anyway, thanks for watching everybody. See you later.